Tonight, there are new details after a murder suspect is found dead. Police have been searching for the man they say killed his wife last month. But when they found Thomas Prost, he was dead in his car, surrounded by prescription medication. Today, ONN's Kristen Severance found out why it took almost a month to find his body. Guys, there was a nationwide manhunt for Thomas Probst. The U.S. Marshals even added him to their dangerous dozen fugitive list. But it turns out he never left Ashtabula County. The sadness over the murder of Paulette Probst turned to fear after deputies started a nationwide search for the shooter, her husband, Tom Probst. Many family members and friends worried he'd come back for others. Don't kill your wife and kill your horse and go after your daughter if you're sane. Using information from Probe's son about where the Army veteran and trained sharpshooter liked to hunt and fish, several law enforcement agencies, including a helicopter, scoured a 32 acre area for Probst and his white truck. Quad team members in full dress on ATVs. Uh, coming the back roads. Well, they were everywhere searching the woods and walking through. The truck was found off of Fee Road in a wooded area just a mile from the home where deputies say Probes shot and killed his wife and horse. Even the helicopter at that particular time that if it did fly over that area, could not have spotted the vehicle. Sheriff Bill Johnson said the area was just too thick. A woman walking there found the truck nearly a month after the shooting. Probst had overdosed on several painkillers. Johnson said they used all the manpower and technology available to find the killer. Contrary to some of the comments that are made about, you know, why we didn't find him or why you couldn't catch him, it's very easy for somebody to say, well, I could have. Well, we had volunteers that were looking, four wheelers that were looking. Nobody come across this because of the, the area and the camouflage it was in. Now, his body was so badly decomposed, and he was wearing the same clothes as the night of the shooting. So, the Ashtabula County Medical Examiner listed the day of the shooting as Probst's date of death. Deputies did not find the 45 caliber gun they say that he used to shoot his wife, and they will not continue searching for that weapon. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kristen Severance, the Ohio News Network.